Hi, this is Presh Holker. In this video, we're going to discuss a geometry problem about two ladders and how it relates to problems where people are working together. Imagine we have one wall with the height of five and another wall with the height of three. Let's imagine there are two ladders between the walls and we want to know the height where the two ladders intersect. In other words, we want to know what the height of the blue line is. We'll solve this problem by saying the height is h. We'll let the distance on the left be x and the distance on the right be y. Now we can create a series of similar triangles. So for the wall which has a length of 5, we'll draw one triangle in green. And the smaller triangle right here that we've drawn in green will be similar to it. With similar triangles, the proportions are equal. Therefore, 5 divided by x plus y will equal h over y. For the wall with the height of 3, we can also locate some similar triangles, which we'll set out to the side. We can also say the proportions of the legs will be equal, so 3 over x plus y equals h over x. We can go through a bunch of algebra here and get that h is equal to 3 times 5 over 3 plus 5, which is 1.8. All the x's and y's cancel out. So that's pretty neat. We can figure out the height of the blue line just from the distances of the two walls. Now let's generalize the problem. Imagine one wall has a length of a, another has a length of b. We can go through the same steps and we can conclude the height is equal to a times b over a plus b. And this is interesting, it doesn't depend on the distance between the walls. Now let's consider another problem. Imagine I take A hours to do a job, and you take B hours to do the same job. Job. How long will it take if we work together? This is a totally different problem, but I'm going to show you how these two problems are related. So let's draw a graph where the horizontal axis is time, and the vertical axis is the percentage of the job completed. If I do a job in A hours, that means it will take me A hours to get 100% of the job done, and I will linearly increase the percentage of the job from 0 to A hours. If you take B hours to do a job, that means you will complete the job in B hours, going from 0 to 100% of the job completed, to see how long it takes to work together, we'll do a little trick. We'll flip the triangle, and now imagine that you are working from the end of the job, and I'm working from the beginning. The point at which we cross is the amount of time it'll take us to work together, and that's the blue distance. If I translate over the purple triangle, and I move over this blue distance, and then I clean up the graph a little bit, you'll exactly see that this blue distance is the amount that we're working together, and the geometry is exactly the same as the previous problem we've just solved. Therefore, we can conclude the time it takes to work together is the same amount, a times b divided by a plus b. And that's pretty neat. These two problems are related. On a concluding note, the harmonic mean is equal to 2 times AB over A plus B, and both of these problems are equal to half of the harmonic mean. Please subscribe to my channel. You can support me on Patreon, catch me on my blog Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh and you can get my books linked on my website.